What's up everybody? Welcome to Midiverse TV. This is Midiverse Monday number 38 and today we're going to be talking about the Synthrotech delay module. This is a 4 HP wide module from Synthrotech and we're going to kind of go over it here. At the top we've got the delay rate, the feedback amount, and then a mix knob. So all the way to the left is dry and all the way to the right is wet and then it kind of mixes in between. Under that we've got our audio input, a control voltage input for the delay rate, a control voltage input for the feedback amount, and lastly our audio output. So what we're going to do today is use this drum module that's next to it. We're going to be triggering that from the MPC-1000 using a quarter inch to eighth inch TS cable here. Go ahead and plug that in. So we're going to be sending a trigger sample from the MPC into the Barton Musical Circuits analog drum module. Go ahead and plug that into the trigger input on that. And then whenever we push the pad down, we see the light light up, so we know that's working. And we'll take our audio output from the drum and run that right into the audio input on the delay module. And then we'll plug the output of the delay module right into our mixer. That way we can hear what's going on here. Okay, so I've got it all the way to the left here, so we're just hearing a dry drum signal. And we'll kind of bring in the delay sound here, kind of mix the two, and we'll increase the delay rate. And I'm just going to turn some knobs here for a little bit. And there's back to our dry drum sound once again. Okay, we're going to record a little sequence here using the MPC-1000's note repeat function. That way we can get some sort of quantized rhythms going on here. And again, I'm just going to turn some knobs here to see what kind of sounds I can get.
So as you can see, we can get a variety of different uh, sort of sounds out of it here. Let's go ahead and take the audio output of the delay and run that into the dirt filter module. Now this module has been described as more of a distortion than a filter sometimes. Um, so it definitely makes things, uh, makes things dirty here. Let's see what kind of sounds we can get with that. In Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unpatch everything here. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about was how the delay module can actually feed back. So there's trimmer controls on the inside of the PCB to set the feedback amount and the delay rate. And uh, I'm just going to plug the delay into the speakers here and uh, sort of see what kind of feedback we can get. So you see, if we turn the feedback up really high, we can get some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of noisy feedback going on just within the module itself, which is pretty interesting. Uh, might be cool to, you know, run that into a, uh, you know, into some VCAs or through a filter or, you know, whatever. So that's sort of an interesting, uh, interesting feature. So yeah, definitely check this module out. It's available at synthrotech.com. You can buy the module there, or you can buy a DIY kit if you want to build one yourself. Or you can actually pick up the PCB and panel there if you want to source all the parts yourself. So yeah, uh, like I said, synthrotech.com. And until next time, this has been Midiverse Monday at Midiverse TV. Feel free to check us out at our website at midiversetv.blogspot.com. And feel free to add us on Twitter at Midiverse underscore TV. Thanks.